In this video, I'm going to be talking about using the Sony 24mm GM lens with the Sony FX6. And if at any point during this video you get some value, please give it a like. Here's the story. The Sony 24mm f1.4 G Master lens is an E-mount lens for full frame format cameras. It has an aperture range of f1.4 to f16, 2 XA elements, 3 ED elements, nano AR and fluoride coatings, a direct drive supersonic wave autofocus motor, an autofocus and manual focus switch, internal focus, a focus hold button, a physical aperture ring and D-click switch, dust and moisture resistant construction, a rounded 11 blade diaphragm, and a 67 mm filter thread. And this is what the Sony 24 mm f1.4 lens looks like on the Sony FX6 without the lens breathing compensation function turned on. As you may know, the Sony FX6 has just brought out a new firmware update, which now brings this new feature to the camera, which eliminates lens breathing for specific Sony lenses. For those that don't know what lens breathing is, it's when the focus of the lens changes and it looks like the camera is zooming in or out just a little bit. Here's an example of what it looks like. And it can be quite distracting depending on what you're filming. If you're filming something like this and I slightly move in and then out a little, it might make the background flicker a little bit and it can be a little bit distracting once you see it. But with this new feature, that eliminates it on specific Sony lenses, the 24mm lens being one of them. And now I've turned the lens breathing feature on, and as you can see, there's a little bit of a crop that's now been applied to the image, which isn't a big deal, but something to be aware of. So now that this feature is in the Sony FX6, and I'm confident in purchasing some new prime lenses that are Sony made, it's now making me wonder what lenses in particular should I purchase? Currently I own the 35mm f1.8 and I like that lens because it's a good focal length, I like the 35mm length and f1.8 tends to be enough light for the majority of the shoots that I do. It also doesn't suffer from lens breathing which was a really helpful feature to have before this firmware update. I also have the 85mm f1.8 and I really do like that focal length. It really does help me get some really good b-roll shots for the projects that I shoot and generally I am quite happy with it. It does have a little bit of chromatic aberration which is a little bit annoying but overall it's a great lens. So if I was wanting to upgrade to the G Master lenses, you would think that I would just replace those lenses with the 35mm G Master and the 85mm G Master. But I did have the thought, what if I used the 24mm and if I wanted that 35mm look, use clear image zoom. As you may know with the Sony FX6, in its latest firmware update, it now supports eye and face autofocus when you use clear image zoom. Previously to that, it didn't. So now I could use a 24mm lens like this one and if I really wanted to have that 35mm look or 36mm look if I zoom in all the way with clear image zoom, then I could. So let's try that out right now. And now I'm at 1.5 clear image zoom on the Sony 24mm GM lens and this is what it looks like. Technically it should be a 36mm equivalent but because of the lens breathing compensation feature adding an extra crop on top, it's probably a little tighter. So I could actually zoom it out a little bit and try and get that 35mm look that way. Now I'm at 1.4 and this is probably a little bit closer to that 35mm look. So if I'm really wanting to get a 35mm look in my YouTube studio using the 24mm lens, I can do that now with the clear image zoom, the lens breathing compensation and the Sony FX6. And one of the benefits of having a 24mm lens instead of a 35mm lens is you get that wider field of view when you're in tighter spaces. So as you would know, if you're in a tight space, you can always go closer to a subject but you can't go further back because there's a wall or something blocking you. If I had the 24 millimeter lens on, it would make it a lot easier in tighter spaces to be able to get the shot that I'm wanting. So that's one of the reasons that I would consider getting the 24 millimeter lens instead of the 35 millimeter lens. Normally I find 35mm to 85mm is the most flattering focal range when filming people talking to camera. But as I continue making videos, my personal preferences do change from time to time and who knows, maybe I'll warm up to the 24mm look. And if you were wondering what the 24mm lens looks like moved closer to the subject, being me, uh, this is what it looks like and I can literally touch the end of the lens right there. So it is quite close and it does give a different type of look to the video. So let me know in the comments, do you like this look or do you prefer the other look where the camera is a little bit further back and a little bit more zoomed in? 
Also, if you're wondering what the lens looks like wide open at f1.4, this is what it looks like. Before I was shooting at an f2.8, but now I've put the electronic ND on and opened it all the way up to f1.4. And that's the video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel for more videos on video creation in the future.